Hello guys, welcome to our channel, Auto V Fix. In this video, we're looking at the powertrain control modules, or PCM, and their influence on your car's alternator system. We'll kick things off by identifying which alternator system is precisely managed by the PCM and defining what a PCM alternator is. The heart of the discussion will revolve around the interaction between the powertrain control module and the alternator system, with a particular focus on the control of voltage regulators. We'll then shift gears to discuss the regulation of alternator output and who exactly holds the reins of control over it. A significant aspect we'll touch upon is whether the PCM dictates the alternator voltage, a topic that will definitely provide some food for thought. Before we get going, please subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video. What is a PCM alternator? A PCM alternator is a device that regulates the output of a vehicle's charging system. It consists of three main components, the voltage regulator, stator, and rectifier. The PCM, powertrain control module, controls the signal sent to terminals on the alternator to control its output. This signal is then interpreted by a regulator inside the alternator, which adjusts its speed based on engine load or other factors such as temperature or battery charge level. It is designed to regulate the current flow in a vehicle's electrical system, providing more efficient and reliable power when something goes wrong with one of these components due to a faulty signal from the PCM. It could potentially affect how well your alternator works, since they share common power sources such as voltage regulators or grounds. The PCM continuously checks data from the body control module, BCM, and modifies its output as necessary. Which alternator system is controlled by the powertrain control module? When you turn on your ignition switch, the PCM will send a signal through terminal L, which closes off an internal circuit inside the regulator within your alternator, ensuring optimum charging rates are achieved while keeping battery voltage at its optimal level during operation or recharging after use. Terminal B also plays an integral role in this process. It acts as the main output terminal connected directly to your battery, allowing current from both terminals L and B combined to regulate voltage levels. In addition, if there ever happens to be any issues with either one or both terminals, they can be easily identified due to a warning light being illuminated on the dashboard. Does the PCM control the voltage regulator? The answer is yes. The PCM serves as your vehicle's brain and helps regulate various systems within it. It also monitors engine temperature, intake air pressure, and other data points to determine when adjustments need to be made. One of its main functions is to control the voltage regulator which ensures that electrical components receive enough power without being overloaded. The PCM works by sending signals to different sensors located in the vehicle, including those attached to the voltage regulator itself. The sensors then send information back depending on the amount of power needed to be regulated for everything to work well. What is alternator output controlled by? The alternator output is controlled by the regulator, a device that monitors and adjusts voltage levels to ensure they remain within acceptable limits. The regulator is connected to a series of diodes, which act as switches that control current flow from the alternator. When more electricity is needed, these diodes open up and allow additional current to be generated by increasing engine speed or RPM. Does PCM control alternator voltage? Yes, the PCM controls the alternator voltage. The way it works is this. It monitors the electrical load on the system. The PCM also regulates how much current flows through each component of a vehicle's charging system, including its battery, starter motor, and alternator. When a car starts, it sends signals to both its battery and starter motor so they can start working properly. This process also involves sending information between these two components and their respective relays via pulse width modulation, PWM. With the PCM working effectively, it can help control the charging system. What does the PCM relay control? The PCM relay controls all the relays and fuses in a vehicle. It transfers power to the engine control module, ECM. When you turn on your engine's ignition switch, it sends voltage through wires, which activate both primary and secondary relays located near your fuse box. The primary relay then sends power directly to other parts of the vehicle, while also sending current toward another key component, the PCM. This module acts like an on-off switch for many systems within your automobile. When activated by either direct or indirect signals from different sensors around its body, 
It can control functions such as air-fuel rat, ratio adjustments during acceleration or deceleration, idle speed control, transmission shift points, and even anti-lock braking system operation. Can a PCM cause alternator problems? The answer is no. While PCMs are important for controlling engine performance and other functions related to the powertrain, they do not directly affect or control an alternator in any way. That's it for today, and thanks for watching. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our future videos. Also, hit that like button and share with friends if you enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next video. Bye.